First of all, I would like to thank Harima Malaya. Coach, congratulations for the positive display from the team. So, how do you see overall the performance of the team? Um, first of all, I would like to thank Harima Malaya and Flash Sukan for your continuous support. It means a lot for us and for the girls and your positivity in encouraging the girls throughout the SEA Games. Um, um, my view, as I said before, the result was expected. Um, a lot of positive outcomes that we can build for future now. We are ready. Uh, it's just the beginning. Uh, I'm happy with the girls' uh, determination. and They did their very best. Uh, a lot of uh, young um, players here. Uh, so I expect a good future for these girls. And hopefully, next SEA Games, uh, we will be a very competitive opponent. Just in a month of preparation, we managed to give them such a very good competition. So do you see the gap between us and other teams is getting closer? Uh, definitely, when you talk about Vietnam and Philippines and how the girls uh, was very tough and almost we embarrassed uh, Philippines that are preparing to go to the World Cup. Um, regarding Myanmar, uh, the physical breakdown that happened because of the very short uh, preparation period, it was also expected. Uh, but definitely from what you saw, uh, we can be a very competitive opponent in the future. Because of Malaysia, Philippines are not qualified. Of course, like like us, like uh, Philippines, who's ranked 45 in the world, so uh, same. <laughs> I believe your mind never stops. You already start thinking, what next for Malaysia? Yes. Do you think the best way to improve our team is to call all the foreign players, Malaysian players who play in foreign league? Um, of course, um, any players that is possible for us to get, definitely we will call. Not only who plays outside, but even who those play inside and we didn't have the chance to see because uh, we called up uh, the players based on the Slangur League only. Uh, but definitely from different, different states, we will call up many players. Uh, there is a development programs, grassroots, league and youth. We will work in parallel uh, to develop the women's football and uh, to be strong. Uh, of course, uh, when you talk about female uh, players, uh, they are different than men. Everything affects them, everything impacts them, everything encourages them. Uh, so, it, of course, the lack of media coverage, um, it makes difference. Uh, but the, our girls are strong enough to handle any situation. Of course, can, we can see that Philippine teams, most of them are American-born, foreigners. Yeah. What do you comment on that? And maybe that's some kind of good idea for us? Uh, good idea, you mean? For us to implement such kind of... If, 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 if there is a possibility to find players in the USA or United Kingdom, definitely it's, it's, good. it's always a good idea to bring experienced players uh, when we saw the players. But there is something more important than that. I think the loyalty of the players to their country worth more than just bringing a player who never lived in her country. So I'm very proud of this player who stands in front of USA players and they, they were very strong against them. Even in the standing, we are last. But I believe in terms of fighting spirit, we are the number one. Yeah, Amen. definitely. Definitely. I agree with you 100%. Fighting spirit until the last minute, each and every game. We even managed to score a goal uh, because the girls want to take something from this tournament. They, was, they were very determined to take anything from this tournament and uh, they took a goal. It's not enough, I know, but next time, I promise, this will be a surprise for this, the country. And last, my question, uh, the fact is our player is like amateur and some of them are having daily job, yeah. some of them playing futsal, so what yeah. can you do to make them, to convince them to be serious in this football? Uh, we have to be serious at the beginning to attract them to uh, to be serious as well. But for me, this camp, it was a first step to professionalize the game, to professionalize the mentality and let them feel uh, how the high performance environment uh, would be. And I also met with the girls uh, yesterday and I informed them about what's coming and how it will be serious and how we will be tough with them and how will they struggle to gain success in the future. Nothing comes easy. No success comes 
come in easy way. Uh, they promise that they are ready and they are ready for that and they will come and definitely as FM we will help all the players who's working or in school just to focus more on football only. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Really. I appreciate it.